Welcome back guys. So the next uh, thing we're going to do is just take a look at the mocked up EJ22 Turbo and see how it fits in the engine bay. So here's the EJ22 Turbo and there's the actual turbo there and transmission right there. We have about four inches, so about three and a half roughly inches, including the adapter plate to um, compensate for. So that's why I have this blue tape right here. The turbo needs to scoot in at least three and a half inches, but I'm gonna give it a little more room. In any case, this is uh, the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back out and break out the uh, angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and see about cutting that out. Just a quick uh, little perspective. Um, there it is. Fenders are off and everything, so it looks kind of funny, but um, the ground clearance we'll address later. Right now, I'm just trying to get the uh, engine mocked up. Engine is out of the way, and we have the angle grinder with cutoff attachment ready. I'm going to cover up the uh, clutch throw-up bearing there, but also make sure that you're not gonna snag anything in the uh, luggage area. All right, so we got the uh, back portion done. So now we just need to figure out depth to cut the floor of the parcel, parcel tray deal. So inside the parcel tray, you can see our cut so far and it's kind of hard to see my, my outline here, but I'm gonna cut diagonal about five inches in and then cut diagonal to this line. So diagonal about five inches in, a couple inches of flat. That's just my starter and I'm going to put the engine in and we'll see how close that is. Now that our hole is cut, um, we can get much closer in. We're right on the cusp. We're right at about uh, a half inch difference between the mating surfaces for the adapter plate. But you can see um, the heat shield on the the down pipe is rubbing. That's gonna be coming off, but I think I might clearance it just a little more, just to be safe. Also, the other spot that's going to be interfering slightly, it looks like, is going to be the uh, heater lines. I'm just gonna so gently on. bend them down, kinda of like I do on the Vanigans to clear that little bit of firewall right there. So the other obvious point of interference is between the throttle body and the firewall. So what I'll do is just use the Bussaroo uh, throttle body reverser and it will essentially put the intake like that so that I can mount the throttle body. And uh, that'll allow for um, routing the intake from the turbo outlet right there, high pressure to the throttle body up here. I took the heat shield off of the downpipe and it's amazing how much smaller um, that the actual downpipe is. You can't really see it from here, but um, boy, it saves, it, you know, I was gonna have to trim this right there a little further but, I mean, the clearance is huge now. It's like two inches. Pretty wild. So, I don't need to trim that more. And the throttle body is reversed. It's not completely installed. You can see missing bolts, but this gives you a good idea of where the intake is going to be. So now I have to figure out how to get from here to here on the turbo. 
So we'll see. I might see if my WRX top mount intercooler will do anything. I've got one of those in the shop, so I'll see if maybe I can squeeze that in here and see if that changes anything. <laughs> but as far as clearance goes, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to finish prepping the engine. I prepped this engine a long time ago and uh, I just need to take care of the uh, main uh, seal in the back and put on the adapter plate and clutch gear and get it bolted up.